Please remember that the area around your gates must be clear. Okay, we've only been in the country about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. What are you seeing out there? Trees. What kind of trees? Birch trees. Yeah? Anything else? Uh, Anything catching your eye? The, the billboards. Yeah? They're kind of cool. <laughs> the language is cool. Is it, could you tell that we're not in the United States anymore? Yeah. By the languages. <laughs> By the letters. But other than that, it's kind of insane. Pedagogical University and we've just been shown to our room in the dorm mm -hmm. on the second floor and I have actually stayed here before and I think it's a lovely accommodation we have a suite of rooms all to ourselves in our own bathroom and it seems as though the people in charge of the dorm have done everything they can to make us happy and comfortable and I see no reason to think that we're gonna not have the most wonderful four days, five days, however many days it is here. <laughs> First of all, Heywan and Rose are in a, bed, a room together, a large room. And then Dawn, Sony, and I each have our own rooms. They're similarly equipped. I noticed they've put TVs in them even since I was here last. But there's a refrigerator that we noticed when we opened. It is stocked with food. Also bottles of water, juice. Again, giving us the feeling that they really are happy to have us here. Uh, the university is, is fairly small and it's just really steps away to the offices and to the cafeteria and any other place that we would be going to. Uh, my name is Vladimir Andreev. I teach in the English department here and also work uh, in the Office of International Affairs. So this university was established in 1938 as a teacher training college, a two-year teacher training college. But then, I think in 43, it was turned into a four-year college and then it became a fully-fledged university. We're a medium-sized school with about 7,000 university students. Uh, we have bachelor's programs, master's programs, and PhD programs. We have, I think, around 300 international students now. This building is physics, technology, all kinds of things. It's actually the, during the Second World War, that's the place where the German troops were stopped. So the Germans came all the way from Germany up to here. And this building is biology, chemistry, and physical education. And these buildings are dormitories. There's no central place where the library is. So this first floor is the library. Then uh, foreign languages is partly here and partly on the fourth floor. Hello everyone, and uh, I would like, first of all, to congratulate you on the beginning of a new academic year. And I'm very happy that the beginning coincided with the visit uh, of a delegation from our sister city, Albany, in New York State. You probably know that uh, Tula and Albany um, has had a sister city relationship for about 20 years, more than 20 years. Last year we celebrated 20 years of our partnership. This year, we have five members of the delegation. You can see these two girls and three ladies standing. Good morning, my name is Mary Emerson, and I am a retired high school librarian, and I've been with the Albany Tula Alliance <laughs> for seven years. Seven years ago, I had the pleasure of coming to Tula for the very first time. This is my third time. But I'd like to introduce both of our winners. They will be entering their senior year of high school as soon as we get back to Albany. And first of all, in the green sweater, this is Rose Schneider. And secondly is Heywan Huang. Hi, my name is Heywan. They are missing school right now. They should be in school. 
But I think that their teachers will allow this one, uh, one or two days out of school because this, I believe, is probably going to be the hallmark of their year. Gandhi and Tolstoy both had similar twists and turns in their lives. Both came from well-to-do backgrounds and yet switched to aesthetic lives based upon the suffering they saw around them. Tolstoy came from a noble family, but eventually would attempt to work and live with the serfs on his estate. Likewise, Gandhi was a young lawyer from a wealthy Indian family when he witnessed the injustice Indians in South Africa suffered from. And that, that's just a portion of that. Thank you. Despite the fact that Tolstoy only directly influenced Gandhi after Gandhi's miraculously successful efforts in India, many other world leaders have followed suit. Through both his short stories and longer novels, Tolstoy impacted Gandhi and later indirectly influenced celebrated world figures such as Albert Einstein, who described Gandhi as a role model for generations to come, Martin Luther King, in the, uh, King Jr. in the American Civil Rights Movement of the mid-1900s, Nelson Mandela in the struggle against apartheid in South Africa, Aung San Suu Kyi in Myanmar, who was later awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, President Obama, and even John Lennon, the musician, whose works characterized a revolutionary period and culture shift in America. We are at the home of Nina Gruzdevskia, Igor Alexiev, and Nina's mother Lydia in Tula. And seven years ago, I stayed here for one week with them while attending a librarian conference in Tula. We found many, many ways to communicate because I was here by myself with no Russian speaker for a week, and it was my very first time in Russia. This is very typical, it's uh, like uh, Khrushchev, it's Stalin era, apartment houses. However, I've been told that this is considered a large apartment because there are five rooms and only three people who live here. These are the appetizers and you can see there's also water and wine and juice and meat. For one thing, I'm a vegan so I don't eat meat or eggs or milk, any animal product. But here they were able to provide vegan meals, they provided vegetables and potatoes and bread. Um, vegetarian porsched. And th those were made especially for you and they don't have oh. 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 you. It was just incredible that they were so accommodating to someone who, you know, couldn't even tell them, had to have other people like tell them that I, that I was a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever I'm in Tula, I visit and Lydia makes a beautiful dinner for us. The food was amazing. I didn't expect food to be so good here. I thought I'd had good food, but we had even better food in Russia. Um, there's like three to four course meals every single meal, even, even breakfast, and I just had so much food. 